what up it's your boy d dot will and i want to show y'all how to properly load a loop in fl studio so first thing y'all want to do is you know pick your loop that you want uh i got one right here that i made a minute ago uh it's 150 bpm so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure to put your project at 150 bpm so right there Okay, so it's loaded in. All we gotta do is turn on our metronome. Make sure it's flush, proper. We look at the end right here. I'll pause it real quick. So we look at the end here, make sure it's flushed in there. You know what I'm saying? So another thing that you wanna do is make sure you know when you change the tempo and it's like doing this so you don't want that to happen you literally don't want that to happen that's a disaster you know what i'm saying so like i said if the tempo is 150 put the project on 150 and then another step you want to do is if you want to lock it in and then change the tempo you have to make sure that you put it on stretch so when you put it on stretch it's in there you know what i'm saying so another thing you want to do is hit command l or control l if you're a window user hit command l make sure it's in the mixer so if you ever want to put effects on it and stuff like that that's important too but make sure it's on stretch but you have to make sure that the time is correct with the loop and the project so there you go it's loaded in it's ready for you to make a, a beat on you know what i'm saying now another thing i want to show y'all is that i make sure that when i export melodies they're in waves so i preferably like to use wave melodies you know what i'm saying because like when you use mp3s i'll show you exactly what i mean by that okay so the thing about mp3s is um i don't really like working with mp3s like that because you got to do all type of trimming and stuff like that um but my boy i got my boy dara loops right here uh he has some he has some mp3s in here so i'm gonna show y'all my example so for instance when you do use an mp3 um you'll see that there's a space like a little small space in the beginning and uh I forgot to put it on 150 so tempo is 150 right so we want to look at the end so you see how they got the little excess tail at the end so you want to make sure well first off i want to trim this so i'll hit option then i drag this to the left and then this is how i do it so i make sure i drag this you know what i'm saying a little bit to the right uh, and once again, I was holding on the option and dragging. So I still want to go check real quick and see if it's flushed yet. Nope, it's not. So I'm going to just keep going. Yep. So that's how you do it right there. Another thing is, once again, stretch. Put that on stretch and make sure you put it in the mixer. So now it's ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm changing my tempo. It's good. No, I'm going to I'll go check real quick. Now it's properly locked in. I could make a beat on top of it now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, sometimes that happens too. So this is why I like using waves because it's, it's you know, some weird stuff be happening. But, you know, it's locked in now. There we go. It's locked in now. Gotta make sure that's cleaned up. You gotta make sure that that's flush so like you'll be able to copy and paste. You know what I'm saying? That's our purpose. That's our purpose of making everything flush and on the line because when you try to go like copy and paste and stuff like that, you need to have it on the line. And so everything could be proper at a good measurement. You do not 
want to have like a little bit at the end or whatnot because if you try to copy and paste it'll just be a complete disaster you you send your beat out to somebody and they can't find the right tempo because it's off or whatever got to make sure that that's straight at the end i want to thank y'all for watching shout out to triple beam my team right there peace out